Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Weekend Cruiser Group Cruise Revealed. So excited to have you all here. I'm going to give it a few moments just to let people come in to the conversation. Hopefully we'll get a few folks to join us. Looks like the number's growing here as it is now 4 o'clock and that live alert option probably just went out to a lot of folks. So to start off with, as you can see behind me, I am back in North Carolina, so I'm not on a cruise ship this weekend. Um, I'm actually here in where I grew up at, um, in my childhood home. Doesn't look like it now, um, but it, it's this is my desk from when I was a little kid. Um, so checking in on mom, we are doing well. I will say that uh, the outpouring of support that all of you have had for me and for my family has been tremendous. So once again, thank you for all of that. So very, very happy to have that. From there, um, you know, I'm excited to announce two different group cruises. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of really cool, cool items coming up. Um, but since I just got back from the group cruise on, when was it? January 23rd, 27th? Time flies. Um, it has gone very, very quick. But it was such a good time. The group that we had, we had about 20 people on the sailing and we had an amazing time on that group cruise. And, you know, I was really testing the waters and seeing how would the first weekend cruiser group cruise go? And I must say that I felt like it was a huge success. Um, everybody that went on there was so kind, so nice. You never know when you have 20 people in a room how that's gonna really lay out at the end of the day. So I was really glad um, that we all got along really good. And I see some of those folks that joined us in this chat as well. So hopefully those great people will be able to join us once again on the one of the two or both of them. I'm not gonna, you know, say so you gotta choose one or the other here, um, but there are gonna be two different options that we're gonna cover today. So with that, I'm gonna hold off on Q&A until the very end of this session. Get all the great information out there about where is the weekend cruiser going? Where can you come and join in on all the fun? But to start with, Go ahead and let me know that you are here in the comment section or in the chat function, if you will. Where is everybody from? I already see that Josie's in from New Jersey. Where are the rest of you all um, dialing in from? I guess it's not dial-up network anymore. Uh, where are you all logging in from? Um, I'd love to see where everybody's from. Fraser from Scotland. Fantastic. Lots of great places. Indiana, Jennifer, Tony, New York. I imagine we have a good number of New York folks out there. Springfield, Florida. Great places. Virginia. Oh, Virginia's for lovers there, uh, Anjani. You've got Pensacola, Andrew. Hey there, Andrew. One of our group cruisers that is out there. Nancy D, always a pleasure to see you. Laurel from Huntington Beach. Oh, very nice. So these might be a little bit of a haul for you. Uh, <laughs> But one of these days, I'll probably make it back over to the Los Angeles port. Um, and hey, Brent from uh, Canada. See if I can get a hot A in there. Um, it doesn't normally work when I try to do accents. Um, Greenville, South Carolina. Interestingly, CW, I live right south of Greenville, North Carolina. Um, but I have been to the South Carolina version as well. New Jersey with Adam and Steve Erickson. Hey there, Steve. Um, from Bushnell, Florida. Awesome. So if you haven't already, make sure that you're hitting that like button as well, just so um, it does us YouTube creators, you know, a little bit of a favor or solid when you say that, hey, this is actually really good content. The algorithm loves that information. So again, going to go over Q&A at the end of all of this because it's probably going to be similar kind of questions. Um, but, you know, do want to make the announcement on where the first weekend cruiser uh, cruise is going to be going. So the first one um, that we're going to talk about is kind of a no-brainer, and I've alluded to this. If you all have paid attention to the videos, uh, maybe you're on the group cruise where I talked about it. When I saw that this cruise was happening, I knew that I had to be there, and I had to make it a big celebration. Um, so everything about this sailing is going to be big. It is the inaugural November 3rd Allure of the Seas weekend cruise sailing out of Port Canaveral. So the weekend cruiser is going to be finding a way to go north. And so we're going to be leaving my home port of Miami. And I'm going to be going north for this one to Port Canaveral to be on the allure of the seas. So I am super excited 
to be joining the Allure of the Seas for this. It's going to be a great time. I'm playing with some of my cues down here, but that is the first option is to be to join us on the Allure of the Seas. It'll be the inaugural sailing, the very first weekend cruise that it has done. It is a great ship, and I'm really interested to see, hey, how is the weekend sailing going to work on such a big ship? An Oasis class has not done a weekend sailing before. They keep moving them up in class. I used to be sailing on Enchantment and Empress for weekend sailings. That slowly got lifted up to Navigator, to Mariner. Now we're on Freedom of the Seas, and this is going to definitely be another game changer in the weekend cruiser space with an Oasis class ship out of Port Canaveral. And so you all are going to have an awesome time on this. And we're going to make it almost a coordination or an inauguration of this sailing. Um, and, you know, maybe even I might be named the godfather of the Allure weekend sailing. Who knows? That might just be me dreaming out there. Um, but it's going to be a really good time. And of course, in classic weekend cruiser style, it is going to go to two main locations. It's going to go to Perfect Day at Coco Cay, as well as Nassau, Bahamas. And so we're going to have different activities. So what you can expect on this trip is we're going to have a lot of social events. One thing that I love doing is meeting all of you. I end my videos with when I see you on the next cruise or looking forward to seeing you on a weekend sailing soon. I honestly mean that. And so I love getting to know you, hearing your stories. We're going to have plenty of time for us to chat. We're going to do dinner together. We're going to have happy hours together. We'll go to the shows together. Um, they have a Broadway show. Let me know in the comments, actually, if you know what the Broadway show is there, because I am blanking on their Broadway show at the moment that is on Allure of the Seas. But that is something I am really looking forward to is more entertainment options on this larger ship that is out there, or that is going to be the Allure of the Seas. And when we were in Nassau for this past sailing or for the past group cruise, we did the self-guided walking tour. So I led everybody on a self-guided walking tour. I'm not sure I was self-guided at that point, um, but it was a lot of fun. And a lot of people that were in it said that it was the best part of this cruise. So we're going to do something probably similar to that on this group cruise on the Allure. Um, but I'm looking to spice it up a little bit. When I was there walking around the group, like light bulbs were going off on all that we could really do to make this an interesting and unique experience to the Weekend Cruiser group cruise. Um, so I've already been in touch with some people trying to line some things up. So more to come on that front. The key for all this is, you know, you got to let us know that you are interested. So to be part of the Allure of the Seas sailing, we're going to need to go through the um, travel agent extraordinaire, Mr. Ran Cohen. And so to let Ron know that you are interested, there is a job form link down below in the description. Click on that, and that's going to take you over to a form where you're going to select one of the two sailings. So if you go there now, it'll probably show you the second one. So spoiler alert, um, and if you um, give him your name, email, and phone number, he's going to reach out to you to say, what are the pricing options? How can we get you onto this cruise ship and go over everything there? As this one is far away on November 3rd, um, there's actually refundable rates. So the refundable rates right now are fantastic with Ron. Um, the closer you get in, the more those are going to shift and change. So make sure that you're looking into that as early as possible. Lock in that refundable rate. If you can't make it, you can't make it. And there's no harm, no foul, because it's a refundable rate. Um, but Ron, everybody loved on the last weekend sa sailing. Um, so I feel very comfortable using him again for these two sailings that he does a fantastic job. But go down to the, the description below. That's where the jot form is going to be at. Now, moving on to the second one. So the second voyage is one that's probably going to surprise some people. Um, I think I'm going to not necessarily come out of left field on this one, but it's one that I am really excited for. It is not a weekend sailing. Um, so the weekend cruiser, I do get to go on non-weekend sailings every now and again. And this is one that is my second favorite cruise. It is a long weekend sailing. Um, and this sailing happens to be a Memorial Day sailing. So there's a vacation day thrown in there as well. Um, and so this is going to be on May 26. So if you're looking at your calendar, it is on May 26. And it is going to be the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady is going to be the second option on May 26. This is a five night adventure on a ship that is very different than any other ship that I have been on. I just got back from my second run on it, 
and I had a wonderful time. So I know a lot of you are looking at what are your cruising options. Some of you are very loyal to Royal and that is completely okay. There's the Allure Sailing that we certainly welcome you on. And then we're gonna have this unique Virgin Voyages five night sailing. It's gonna go to Puerto Plata, the Dominican Repo Republic, one place that I had not been before um, because Royal doesn't really go there very often. So I got a new country kind of checked off my list by going to Puerto Plata. And it's also gonna do their private marine reserve in Bimini, which is a beautiful place to go to, um, to be able to hang out, to relax. Um, it is a really, really good experience. And the food there is amazing. It is some of the best food. So um, I am really excited for uh, being able to take you all on Virgin Voyages. If you're looking at trying something different, I think that it is certainly a different experience. Talked about some of that in the frequently asked questions, um, but I am really excited for this. There's also two sea days on this one. So it being five nights, leaving on Friday, coming back first thing on Wednesday morning, there are two sea days and two port days, yeah, total of four days. Um, that we're going to be able to enjoy. So what you can expect on this one as far as group activities, we're gonna continue to be as social as we can. So there's gonna be happy hours, there's gonna be meetups, there's gonna be plenty of shows to go to. I'm still working through the logistics of how we can all eat together if that's something that we want to do. Um, I love eating with you all, changing up the seats, but Virgin Voyages, as you know, the food is, first of all, fantastic. If you haven't seen my reviews of the food, it is it is very, very good. It's kind of better than the specialty restaurants on Royal Caribbean. Um, so it's really, really good. And they have a reservation system where you go to the different locations and you can't always get in with a larger group. That has to be planned well in advance. And this cruise is coming up pretty quick. Again, it is May 26th. So if you want this one, it is a holiday sailing. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you're getting this really, really quick. Um, but we're gonna do a lot of the shows as well. So they're gonna have dual reality. They're gonna have the diva at, of the seas. Um, we're even gonna be able to go to Scarlet Night. So experiencing Scarlet Night is something that is very unique to Virgin Voyages and will hopefully be a wonderful, wonderful time, especially if you're doing it in a group. I am a solo traveler. I cruise by myself very, very often, but I'll say Scarlet Night is something that is definitely done better in a group that you can experience it with and point out all the wonderful things that are going on around the ship because it is very interactive and very dynamic. For this one, um, there's some really great pricing options that are out there. So even though it's it's pretty close and for a Memorial Day sailing, they're normally more expensive because it's a holiday sailing. These are some really, really good prices that Ron Cohen has once again um, been able to get for us and secure for us. So the double occupancy for a sea terrace is going for about $2,318 right now. And for whatever reason, and I don't understand how cruise lines do their math, the interior and the ocean views are actually more expensive than the sea terrace or the balcony on Virgin Voyages. So they're gonna have other rooms as well. If you are interested in that, you can certainly um, check with Ron and filling out that shop form, but that's gonna be the introductory price for that. Um, solo cruisers, this one is where it's not as great for us because they're still charging us a good amount to go on this. And I know a lot of you are solo cruisers, but it's gonna be about 2,117 for a solo cruiser to go in on a sea terrace, their balcony, because again, the interior and the ocean view are more expensive than the sea terrace balcony room. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to go up to the sea terrace if at all possible. The great thing with Virgin Voyages is these prices are a wee little bit higher, but they give you a lot of bang for your buck, a lot of value. They're also, in addition to um, just welcoming you on board, they're gonna give you some thank yous. So they're gonna give you a $300 bar tab um, just to, to sign on to the ship, just to join. You're gonna have $300 that you can drink, because remember, they don't have drink packages there. You have to buy your alcohol each by the drink, um, which they're actually really well priced. And they're also gonna give you $200 of onboard credit per stateroom that you can spend around the ship, whether you're getting massages from the spa or shopping in their you know, really nice stores that they have on board. So Virgin Voyages on May 26 is gonna give us a lot of options um, on what all we can do. Really great price there. Again, it is a Memorial Day sailing, so if you want to make this one, please make sure you're going and completing that jot form and letting us know you can be there. If you 
If you watch my video on status matching with Virgin, you'll know that you can get a lot more perks. So there's another $100 of bar tab, there's coffee credits, there's all sorts of other benefits if you status match with Virgin. So you need to be diamond or higher on Royal Caribbean for that. Um, in order to status match, do that sooner rather than later because that program could be changing on March 31st. That's as far as it goes out right now. So I don't know what that program is being May 26, but since I've already status matched in, I'm thinking that it's going to be grandfathered, whatever it is they roll out. So go ahead and get your booking status match in so you get all these extra perks if you do have status on another cruise line. Um, and that way you're just grandfathered in, hopefully, to whatever their new program is that they reveal. So again, that job form is down below. If you are interested in going on these two, make sure that you are filling out that job form to let Ron know that um, you're interested. There's an option for you to select if you want to go on the Allure of the Seas. If you are somebody who says, hey, Brandon, I plan really far out. November 3rd is perfect for me because that's far enough. Um, let's do that one. Or if you're somebody that says that, yeah, I can only you know plan two or three months out. I never know what I'm going to be doing. Um, that May 26 sailing is for you. So I heard your feedback. You all like to schedule very, very differently. Some of you want to do it closer to home. Some of you want to do it much further out. And so we have two wonderful options here um, for you all to come and join us. And one is a non-weekend cruise cr group cruise. So for those of you that I always joke and say, you know, you can't get out of bed for a three night sailing, like it's just not worth it because it goes so quick. And it does. Um, this is a solid option to get the exposure to Virgin Voyages and what they're going to be like for a five night Dominican days trip. So there's also going to be a Facebook group that I'm going to put in the comment section. I don't believe that's in, actually I did add it to the description. Um, so that's where we're going to, you know, chat a lot about these two different groups. You can see a lot of pictures, a lot of happenings going in there. So make sure that you are joining the Weekend Cruiser Group Cruise Central Facebook group um, so you can see what else going in there. So with that, two awesome cruises that we've got lined up for you all. I can't wait for you to join. And I've got some really cool ideas of what we can do, um, especially when it comes to Nassau. Coco Cay, it's, I mean, it's perfect day at Coco Cay. What's there not to love about it? And then when we get to Puerto Plata, I'm going to figure out something special we can do there as well, because I think that's one that needs to be a little bit researched if you're going to Puerto Plata. So let's come over here and check out your Q&A at this point, or questions that you might have um, on some of these sailings and see if I can, can help out any here. I'm going to turn this layer off for us. And I feel red in the face. I don't know if you all can see that. When I start talking and get excited, um, it might also be some of my Monster Energy drink that I am drinking to power me through. So let's see. So Andrew Waters, great comment on this. This is something that I have been following very, very closely for me personally, is Brightline to Orlando is just announced this week that they're supposed to be starting service hopefully around June in the summer. And so if that is the case, that will make getting over to Port Canaveral from South Florida much, much easier. I don't know what the price is that they're going to be charging for this. That kind of worries me a little bit. Um, but I love having more options on how to get to Port Canaveral. Um, so Jennifer, glad to hear that you like Port Canaveral. I think there's a lot of people that prefer going to Port Canaveral because if you're in Jacksonville, Orlando, Tampa, it is admittedly a much easier drive than coming all the way down to Miami. By the way, Virgin Voyages is leaving from Miami. I think I forgot to mention that up top, um, but Virgin Voyages does sail from Port Miami. So that one is going to be right out my front door. Um, some of you may have seen the, the TikTok that I made yesterday where I showed it, or the Instagram reel, where I showed everybody how I was just walking home from the cruise ship. So if it's one of those, you know, more westwardly ports um, or terminals, I can walk from there, which is very, very nice. And the um, Broadway show that we all can look forward to on Allure of the Seas seems to be Mama Mia. Uh, so that is certainly a crowd pleaser. Who doesn't love ABBA and the music that they do? Um, so I think that that will be a really, really cool one. And Canaveral was just named the busiest port outside of... Oh, it outdid Miami by 50,000. That's really surprising. But I think it's probably because they've got a lot more Oasis and Quantum class ships that are sailing out of there. The big boys, I think MSC has a big boy up there as well. Um, so that's really good to know. Brent. I would not have expected that. I thought that Miami was, but it looks like um, Port Canaveral is stepping it up. Hey, Brenton Pam, 
I am excited to have you all back on the weekend cruise as well. Some of the original folks, the OG. Um, Andrew Waters, just giving a shout out to Rand Cohen. I know that, you know, one of the downsides, if you will, to doing a group cruise is you do have to go through the travel agent of choice. And in this case, it is gonna be Rand Cohen, but I will tell you that he makes the process completely easy. Um, he is a great person. He's the travel agent that I personally use. He's a really great guy, number one, um, but he's just very professional and he gets it done. Um, I've never seen a travel agent move as quickly as he does. <clears throat> Sis, looks like we're going to miss you. You've got your uh, first cruise coming up in July. We'd be glad to welcome you. Get your training wheels on for our cruise on the 26th, and then you can still go on the cruise um, later on if you want to in June. I think that that's always a fantastic option. And Ken, there is a clean view. So the, the um, allure of the seas is one of the older ships, if you will, in the Oasis class. And so it does give you much better views from the back there. On deck with CB. Um, hopefully you've put together where we're going at this point. We've got the allure of the seas on November 3rd out of Port Canaveral and Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady on May 26th. Um, both of this year, that one's going to be out of Miami. Detroit in the house with Castaway Goes. So for me, going from South Florida to um, Port Canaveral, I've done it a few ways. Traditionally, I've either, I think I've flown most of the time, um, or I would just drive myself. These days, now that I live in Miami, I don't have a car anymore. I sold it day one as soon as I moved down there. Um, so I'm probably going to look at that Brightline option that I just talked about. Um, or I'm just going to probably fly up to Orlando. You can find some good prices on like Silver Airways. Um, and I think JetBlue might even have one from Fort Lauderdale, but more to come. There's also, if you want to do it cheaper, there's got some um, solid and reliable bus options as well um, that I'm not scared to take. Hey there, Brent. The deadline for the November cruise, it's refundable right now. So it's going to be a 90 day before that you can have that refundability. I am not the travel agent though. So I would say fill out the job form. If you do have specific questions on logistics of how everything kind of works out there, let Ron answer those. Um, he is certainly the expert at it. I can't keep them all straight, um, but he knows all the ins and outs of those things um, for the Virgin Voyages sailing, as that is so close, that one's actually gonna be non-refundable. We are already within that three month or I think it's 90 day window um, that you're not gonna be able to get a refund. So if you do sign on to the Virgin one, make sure that you can come. The Allure is gonna give you a lot different options or more options. And thank you for the $10 there, Brent. You didn't have to do that, but always greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm actually checking out or trying out some new camera equipment today. I don't know if you all can tell, but the quality of this live stream should be better than what I've ever used in the past. I'm using my Sony ZV-1 camera, but I've now purchased an Elgato Cam Link. So um, putting this together does cost a little bit of money. So those little um, perks do help. Thank you, Brent. <clears throat> what is there to do on Scarlet Lady from Anjani? Um, the daily agenda seems to be a lot lighter compared to Royal. You know, it's interesting. I, I don't think that it is lighter what I think it is, is they don't have a lot of, I'll call it fluff, if you will. When I'm on Royal Caribbean, I look at their app or the menu of what there is to do, the cruise compass, and there's a lot of drawings, raffles, jewelry sales, save the wells. There's all these things that you can do, but they're not really anything anybody wants to do. Um, so I think on Virgin, they don't have a lot of that. It's, it, they have some of it, but it's not to the same degree that you're gonna find on the Allure sailing. But they've actually, for the sea days, they've got tons of activities. Um, one of the videos I was thinking about making was actually about, you know, all the activities they do have. And they're a little bit different. They've got tea tasting, bourbon tasting, um, coffee tasting. They've got how to make different things. They've got trivia. They've got dirty trivia. They've got beer pong you can play. They've got a lot of activities um, aside from the entertainment form of it where they're going to have a jazz musician. You're going to have um, like a soul, a soul kind of band. Um, he might be more of a top 40s kind of person. Um, you're going to have the actual shows every single night. 
and they have so many and they're also often size limited on how many people they can get in there that they've got a few going at the same time so you've really got to be intentional when you go on virgin voyages to make sure you're going to see um, everything that you can and i see miss emma cruises is in the house hey there emma i know many of you probably know and already follow her my analytics in youtube actually tell me that you watch her videos um so hey there emma and welcome on board uh emma hopefully we'll be able to see you on one of these two cruises i think they've got your your name written they've got great flight connections to orlando and to miami um so hopefully we'll get to see you will i do one of these one day in europe the question is to or the answer to that is probably i'm over in europe um pretty often i've got one planned in september uh, but I can't do those very often because, again, I'm the weekend cruiser. I go on a lot of weekend sailings because of my daytime schedule. Um, but I would love to do one over in Europe at some point um, or maybe even somewhere different. I know, and I think this is more probably for a solo cruise offering where those people that have been scared to explore different parts of the world, and they're comfortable in the Caribbean, but flying over and getting to Europe might be a whole new new thing for them. I would love to go over and help people feel comfortable exploring a new part of the world as a solo cruiser. So that is a long-term vision of mine, Emma, but um, something that I think I would really enjoy doing. Banana PT from Texas coming in. And I will agree with this statement as well. The Virgin Voyages Entertainment definitely just happens. I found myself walking the ship and just randomly running into things more than I have on any of the other sailings, which is, you know, really refreshing. I mean, just to take a stroll on a sudden you're like, oh, there's something really neat going on over here. Um, so I really, really enjoyed that. And thank you, Brent. You are uh, such a trooper. All right, everybody. So it looks like I am caught up on the Q and A. Um, anything else you all want to talk about or questions? So to recap, we've got two amazing options for us to go on for a weekend cruiser group cruise. I so look forward to joining all of you um, and hope that you can join in on the fun as well. The first option that we talked about is going to be the Allure of the Seas on November 3rd. That is the inaugural weekend sailing for an Oasis class ship. And it is going to be a party, that is for sure. I can't wait to see what a weekend sailing is like on the Oasis of the Seas. Super excited about that. Um, not Oasis of the Seas, Oasis class ship on the Allure of the Seas. The second option coming up much sooner, May 26th, we've got the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, or maybe you've already gone on Virgin Voyages and know that it is a cruise line that you like and you gravitate towards, please come and join us. All the events that we're gonna be doing on both of these things are gonna be optional. So as much as I say, we're gonna be social, we're gonna be talking, getting to know each other. Introverts are welcome. So if you wanna come and just hang out when you want to, come in, come out, that is totally fine. I am not taking attendance at any of the events or anything that's gonna be planned. These are still, you know, especially the weekend crews, they go quick. So as soon as you turn around, you're walking back off that ship again. So I try to plan enough without over planning um, to give you time to enjoy and relax. But keep in mind, everything is totally optional. If you want to do something different, you can definitely do that. Um, and maybe next time, tell me about it because I might want to go with you. Um, so you got plenty of options that are there. So Courtney, I don't, you know, I am not a huge music person. I'm not the best with it, um, but they do play, I guess it would be called house music, but it is definitely, a, I call it dance music. Um, which is probably very, very similar. But they've got resident DJs that they bring on board, and they are there when you are boarding the ship on embarkation day. You're going to see them at the pool um, and a few other places, but it is definitely a upbeat, you know, the pool turns into a day club. It's that kind of atmosphere. Um, so I don't know that that's house per se, because I think that means something very specific, but it's definitely dance and energetic music. And Anjani, I think this is a great thing. Um, you know, I would love to be featured on Emma. I think the world of her. So um, I am certainly open to that if, if Emma is. Great idea. Does Virgin have a private island from Banana PT? They do not, actually. Um, 
it's private in the regards that it is branded for them. So when you go to Bimini, you're going to get off in their private dock and go into Bimini, which Bimini um, is a, a very small island. It's got a resorts world on there. So they've got a casino, large hotel, all that kind of stuff. But where you're going to be going to is the Virgin Voyages. It's not even really a private because I think that the people from the hotel can still get in there. Um, but it is their beach club and it's got two beautiful pools in it. It's right on the water. They'll do like a, a fire bonding thing. They had music there when I was there. They've got food. Um, it is a really, really good, relaxing time. Um, but I'm trying to think of something that might be equivalent to it. And I don't think that it exists um, in my mind. It's kind of like if you took legacy Coco K before it was perfect day Coco K, dropped it over here and added a pool to it. Um, that's kind of what you would get. Um, they've got really nice chairs. That's one thing that I remember is the lounge chairs were extremely nice and you didn't have to rent them. They do have some of the cabanas that you can do for an enhanced fee, um, but that is not everywhere. And Emma wants to know if I have tried the celebrity cookies in the cafe. Um, I did not try the celebrity cookies. So um, I have been eating horribly since January. Um, and I started off one of my videos with a joke about that. But I was really, really trying to watch my diet on this last sailing. I think that I did a good job with it. Um, but, you know, that is, fortunately, the cookies um, had, had to go. They weren't, they weren't able to be there. And I keep clicking this button more times than I plan on. And I will certainly be going back on May 26th. But we'll see how my diet's going then. If I can get myself back into the gym, my life's been kind of upended recently. Um, I would love to be able to do that. All right, everybody. So I am going to call this another group cruise reveal live. Um, I think that it is some really, really good options. So I am looking forward to hopefully seeing all you there. I'm going to say it again. When I end videos with looking forward to seeing you on a weekend cruise soon, I genuinely mean that. I genuinely want to see you all, meet you all as a content creator. Um, all I see is this computer screen and this setup that I've got here uh, with more cables than I think that I've ever had for this live. Um, but it's, it's easy to forget that you all are on the other side. And so I love interacting with you, hearing your stories, um, and really hearing how these videos impact you or what you think about them. So I'm excited to get to know even more of you on the Allure of the Seas November 3rd sailing, or maybe you're going to join us on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady on March, May 26th, um, or you can come on both of us. Please don't feel like you have to pick one or the other. If you want to come on both of these sailings, I would absolutely welcome that. All right, everybody. This is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser. Hoping to see you on a Weekend Cruise soon.